Hi, welcome to Ola My Libras, to Dallas Insightful Tarot. If you're new to my channel, then I'm so glad to have you. If not, welcome back. Okay, we're, this is going to be a mini love reading for mid-May. Remember that time is fluid, so this can resonate um, whenever you see it. It'll be the time that you're meant to see it, okay? I'm just trying to sage the area real quick and cleanse the energy, and then we'll get started, okay? Remember that roles can be reversed. So if you need to flip them, you can. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, let's go ahead and pull one oracle card first. Let's see what spirit has to say. Spirit guides, angels of light, light, ancestors, please give us the messages that my angels need to know right now, please, for their highest good. Protect us as we go through the tarot. Thank you and amen. Guys, if these, do, if these do resonate, please hit that like and subscribe button. Please, 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 please. Because this is a new channel, so I'm trying to help it grow right now. It'll help me out a lot. I appreciate it. One more. Okay. This is my new friend you can know right now, please, Spirit. Okay. We have tree. Let them go. Let's see what this says. Let them go. It says, you often take on the pain of others. You used to think it was because you were an empath, but these days you're not so sure. Sometimes it feels like other people are emptying their emotions into you and, give, and giving you nothing in return. Sometimes we even feel we've inherited pain from those who have come before us in our family tree. This is your permission to let go. Your life is ultimately about you, not what other people expect you to carry for them. Good message. Maybe that could have something to do with um, this reading, so let's find out. Which cards do I want to use, Libra? Which cards do I use for Libra? Which cards? Spirit, so I'm going to use this one. Okay. So maybe there's something that you're holding on to or someone that you're holding on to that you need to let go, but I guess we're going to find out. Maybe this person is no good for you, Libra. Only you would know. Okay. Messages that my neighbor needs to know right now, please, Spirit. bottom of the deck we have the page of cups okay so what i'm seeing is um there's somebody who is definitely into you libra um they literally they literally view you as their ten of cups so when this person looks at you they see it all everything marriage house car dogs chickens land babies they see it all, okay? This person is very good looking. The king of wands is how they, what their attentions are towards you. So they could come to you very passionate. Um, this person is very good looking. I feel like they get a lot of attention. Um, I feel like this person's very guarded though. 
feel like they're afraid of love. So when I see this page of cups, I mean, I'm sorry, page of swords, I feel like this person has definitely been in hermit mode. They've kind of gone within themselves and introspection, um, trying to, I feel like, I feel like they've had a spiritual awakening, if I'm being honest. When I look at the rest of the reading, and I'll tell you why, I feel like this person definitely has one inside. Regarding this relationship, they went within, and they've kind of just been going with their inner guidance, um, trying to find out what it is about the situation with you that is so different. I feel like they've never experienced a love like this. Um, with the Page of Swords being here, it kind of clarifies what I was already thinking. This Page of Swords is somebody who wants to know everything about something. You know, they're very curious. They're um, trying to, um, they're like burst with ideas, you know. It's like uh, this person is always thinking and it's always curious. Um, you know, it's a person who asks question after question like a small kid. They're eager to learn about new information. Um, but I feel like this person has been um, seeking knowledge and deepening uh, of a deepening under of an understanding of a particular subject or something you know that you guys have been going through. You know, they might look look useful and lacking experience, but sometimes that freshness, you know, it's often required to go the extra mile. You know, they have a childlike way of observing the situation. Um, but I feel like they are definitely watching you. They've been spying on you on your social media if you have one or trying to find out more information about you. Maybe they are wondering if you are in a relationship. I feel like that's what it is. They're trying to um, find out more information. They definitely see um, material wealth, happiness, the family, the home, like I said, all of it with you. Um, but I feel like this person in, this, in the challenge position, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is very honest. He's um, very witty. He comes in with a sharp communication. Sometimes his communication can be cutting and he's like a little, little, a little brutally honest at times. Um, so I feel like maybe that is the challenge in the situation is for maybe him to be a little bit more emotional, which the Knight of Swords is typically not. He's more just logical with everything he thinks in his head because it's air sign, just like yourself, Libra. Um, but I feel like um, the challenge in the situation is for this person to come in with a little bit more loving intentions because I feel like they do have loving feelings towards you. They just, just the way this person is, they're just, just how they are. I feel like they're not very emotional, um, but they definitely see long-term commitment and happiness with you. Okay. So when they come in, they want to come in as the Knight of Wands. Okay. The Knight of Wands is someone who is um, enthusiastic. You know, he's um, very fiery, very, very handsome. Um, the Knights are connected to movement and they're always on pursuit for something. The Knight of Wands is usually, he's a fire, a fire element and um, he has, he's driven by his passion and his need to experience the world around him. You know, he is um, usually a professional and this makes him a great person to be around, you know, because he is enthusiastic and magnetic and he's very easy to inspire other people around him. Um, he has like a, an, a sense of an excitement and he's very, he gets everyone motivated around him. I feel like this is what he's gonna come in like. He's gonna come in as the King of Wands, okay? He is, um, sorry, I was saying Knight of Met King. So he's gonna come in and he's gonna be very, um, very open with you. He wants to tell you exactly how he feels. You know, he's a creative driven man and he's worked hard to get where he is. And in his maturity, he uses his experience to, you know, direct others and to delegate, basically. Um, so I feel like this man is very, he's abundant. He could be a business owner for sure, or she, I'm sorry. Um, but he definitely has a lot of admirers. I feel like there's a lot of suitors that would probably be interested in this person that you've come to the reading about. Um, but I, what, from what I'm seeing, this person is interested in you. So he might not be letting on with that. He might just kind of be back in hermit mode, but ultimately the overall tone of the reading was the page of cups. The page of cups is like that butterfly feeling that you get whenever you're into somebody and you're so nervous. That's what the overall reading is. The overall reading tone of, is all about. So 
Libra, this person is definitely, um, they're feeling a little bit nervous about coming in to give you this communication. And instead of them coming in with like this lovingly way, they're more just going to be very to the point. And I think that's going to like make you feel like maybe that they're not being authentic in some way, but that's not at all the case. This person is very into you um, because they see the four of wands with you. And the reason why I think that they have a spiritual awakening because they're in their thoughts. They're definitely curious about something that involves you. They're going to be coming in and it's like they're curious to find out this information about you. Um, maybe even to say, because they could also be seeing signs and synchronicities. I can't talk. This person could be very nervous because I can't get my words out. Um, but I feel like this four of wands often talks about like a celebration and a collaboration, even weddings, definitely for sure. Um, but it also talks about spiritual awakenings and to see our higher purpose with the six of pentacles clarifying that that talks about that definitely talks about um you know equal balances of give and take but it also talks about charity so i feel like um this person feels like there's something that you and they are meant to do that involves helping others okay and i see that because of those two together feel like they want to um, master this, um, this, this, what's the word I'm looking for? They want to find out more information. They want, I feel like they want to find out if you're with somebody or if you're not with somebody, they're very curious. They're stalking, trying to find that out. But I feel like they're also trying to feel, figure out after that is if you're feeling the same way. And if you are, are you seeing the same signs and synchronicities as they, as they are? Cause I feel like this person is being bombarded with them. Okay, um, the advice from spirit is the eight of swords. So the eight of swords, I feel like the advice is to get out of your head. I feel like you can be your own worst enemy at this point, Libra. And I feel like a lot of the times you sabotage a lot of things by just overthinking things in your head because you are an air sign and you are very intellect, intellectual. So you do have um, lots of thoughts going in your head all the time. You're very good with people. You're a people pleaser. I mean, not people pleaser. I'm sorry. You're a very you're a people person. Apologize. Um, but I feel like sometimes you overthink some things to the point to where you sabotage it without knowing so. And I feel like even with the situation, you are have, haven't been as trusting um, with the situation because of the fact that you do overthink things so much. So Spirit's wanting you to pay attention to your thoughts and maybe just um, not be so fearful and just go with the flow and, and maybe give this a chance, okay? So the Page of Cups was... Um, I feel like this is a new beginning to a new start. It is very, very small page is, um, is the overall tone of the reading, but I feel like it's because it's a new love. It's the birth of something new because this person is going to come in as the King of Wands, somebody who knows exactly what they want. Um, so they're not going to come in with a small offer and they're going to be rushing in very quickly because the chariot's right underneath that. This person is going to be coming in and, um, they're going to be doing it quickly with this Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. They're going to be doing, you know, yeah, they're definitely going to be coming in very quickly to tell you to tell, tell you how it is exactly that they're feeling. Okay. They're going to be very fiery. This person could be a fire sign, Leo's, Leo area or Sag. Okay. Um, but I feel like they're walking away from something that doesn't no longer serve them. Maybe they were in a relationship that just wasn't working. And I feel like this person has had this wake up call after going in and within and realizing that that person just wasn't meant for them. And I feel like there was a lot of secrets in the situation, maybe in the relationship that they were in that you just didn't know about. I feel like this person was really deep down. They were unhappy, but they want to come to you and because they have this new sense of um, inspiration and this new like awakening inside them that shows them that you guys are meant to be that, you know, with the temperance being here, that you guys can balance each other out. What one lacks, the other one has. I feel like you've been very patient in this situation. And it's something that is definitely going to be happening for you very soon if you want it to. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull a couple of um, cards. We'll get some more on this and then we'll end the reading. If these messages are resonating, please hit that like and subscribe button. It'll help my channel grow and I'd be so greatly appreciative of it. Let me see what else this person would like to say. Um, you know, let's get a couple cards from Spirit and see what Spirit has to say to you. Okay. 
successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships, and other investments are available to help to you. So this kind of actually, um, there could be a side story here actually now that I'm seeing this card. Um, with the Six of Pentacles being there, this also could also could be that maybe possibly you're in a relationship, this person, or you were in a relationship, maybe you were on the rocks of a relationship. Um, this person could also be coming in to find out if you're still in that relationship. And I feel like maybe you were holding yourself back because of maybe financial issues with the Six of Pentacles being there, clarifying the Four of Wands. And maybe that could be something that has been sabotaging this relationship because you're fearful to open up because maybe you feel like you don't have enough to offer. Um, but Spirit's telling you, no, don't worry about it. And I also feel like that with the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Wands being there with the Spiritual Awakening card, I feel like if you guys are planning on doing something together and maybe y'all do have a business idea that's created between the both of you, after you speak with them, I feel like um, this is going to be something that is successful. I feel like Spirit's telling you don't worry about the money part, that this is going to be a business that you both have um, great abundance, okay? Um, deservingness. It says you are a beloved child of God like everyone else, and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels see how amazing you truly are. So quit thinking that you're lacking Libra because you are very deserving everybody deserves love I feel like um you are sometimes your own worst enemy and I feel like you can get up in your head and you can question if you lack enough of anything um to give others and I feel like this is just clarifying spirits telling you yes you're deserving of love stop overthinking it and also that you will have the abundance that you need you know, just open up to this person. Even if you're afraid and fearful, tell them, talk to them because I feel like you're never going to know and um, might as well take that risk, right? And before sabotaging it or before losing that chance with a, somebody who could really, really um, actually be somebody who is there for you that will help you work through those problems. Maybe you've been with somebody in the past that has um, maybe even ridiculed you for being somebody who doesn't make a lot of money. I'm just saying this is just this is maybe for a few of you, um, but I feel like Spirit's wanting you to let those negative thoughts get out of your head because that person, whoever told you that, if they did, um, was somebody who was just being narcissistic, I feel like. Maybe you were in a narcissistic relationship or somebody who had man very manipulative tactics and tendencies to tell you these things, possibly to even keep you feeling trapped in that relationship, okay? So I'm sure that I feel like that was somebody that message needed to be out there for someone. Okay. Um, let me see what else. Let's go ahead and pull a couple of love messages and then we'll end this reading here. Spirit, what, what messages would the person on Libra's mind like to tell them right now, please? What messages would they like for them to know? Ah, it's fast. Those, like, popped out. Like, this person wants to talk. I'm going to take all of them just because they popped out so easily. <laughs> Wow. Okay, here we go, Viva. Let's start. Okay. First card says, I'm completely in love with you. You are the hottest of all your friends. <laughs> Manifesting you into my life. They are keeping a very close eye on everything I am doing currently. So they, like I said, this person could definitely be in a relationship or they're leaving the relationship. But I feel like they're wanting to come in and find out how it is that you're feeling. And also if you are in your relationship or if you guys, maybe they just want to talk about the relationship between the both of you so that you guys can both leave. It says, I'm trying to find the strength to release my past to come to you. Again, clarifying. What if you don't like who I am. So this person is very fearful that you are not going to 
love who they really are. I'm so protective over you if you only knew. I want to show you off and make everyone jealous as fuck. <laughs> Trying to play it cool isn't getting it, getting me anywhere I'm about to open up. You are the goat, greatest of them all. I've never been able to move on from you ever, so this person has definitely always kept you in the back of their mind, Libra. I can feel you even when we're apart. Another thing to clarify that you guys have some kind of spiritual connection. I'm completely in love with you. And that was it. Okay, Libra, these are the, these are the messages I have for you mid-May. If they resonated, please hit that like and subscribe button. This is where we part ways. Until next time, bye.